There are several, several products, okay, that I only buy off Amazon. DJ products, that is, of course, right? DJ products. The reason why is because these are products that are, you know, these aren't big investments. A lot of these are like repeat purchase products, right? Things you need to buy over and over again. Um, Amazon usually has them in stock, ships them the next day. Sometimes they get them the same day. So you know how quick they ship. It's easier to order on the app. You know, so it's just easy, you know, quick. Oh my God, I forgot I ran out of this. I can order it on Thursday, get it by Friday and use it that weekend type stuff. So I want to give you guys some tips. These are all stuff that I ordered on Amazon. All the links to, if you want to see like exactly what I use or order, it's, it's in the description below. I fear I go through this. It might be useful to you. And you might not realize that Amazon carries a lot of these things because I didn't until one day I was like, you know what? Well, let me see if they have it on Amazon. And they do. And they're great. Like, you know what I mean? And that's how I discovered a lot of this stuff. First thing being trust scrims, right? Um, any, t any size trust scrim, like I'm not married to like scrim king or like a certain company. I could care less. Like it, if it fits around the trust and it's big enough, I'm good. And I literally get all my scrims for my trusses from Amazon. They're a solid price. They come in white and black and like, and you, it's just, it's easy to order. They're always in stock and they come right away. And the same thing with table scrims too. If you use table scrims, like we use it for like cocktail hour, things like that, maybe ceremony, um, four foot, six foot table scrims. They come in every color ever. And I think this table scrim, I just bought it. Um, I just bought new ones because the, the white one was getting dirty or whatever. Uh, they're like 15 bucks, cheap. And they're solid, you know what I mean? I mean, they're they're solid. To me, like, I'm not like, a, for 15 bucks, when the white one gets a little dirty, I'm going to buy another one. I'm not going to go bleach it and wash it and deal with that or dry clean. Dry cleaning a scrim, by the way, is like $40, at least in New Jersey. It's outrageous. I don't know why. It's a fabric or something, or maybe they're just ripping me off. But it, it's big money. It's more money than it actually is to buy a brand new one. So same thing with, like, the trust scrims. Like, I kind of just... Buy new ones because <laughs> because it's affordable, you know. So they have them cheap on Amazon. They ship them to you right away. All different colors, everything. Highly recommend grabbing scrims off Amazon. Um, gaff tape is another big one, right? We go through this a lot. Uh, Pro gaff is my favorite gaff tape. It is the best gaff tape out there. It's a little more expensive. I think it's like twenty five, thirty a roll or something like that. But it's worth every penny. It sticks everywhere, but it doesn't leave any residue. It does a great job. It comes with a fat roll, so you get a lot in there. And it also comes in every color ever. You never know when you can use a different color. I always keep black and white um, gaff tape because you know there's situations where like it's a white tile room. You don't want to put black gaff tape. You know it looks more professional white tape. And then you know I do a, a line yellow to maybe do like a caution line on like certain you know uh wires if you run a wire like across a doorway you know when somebody trip on it you get the yellow and uh, like santi will stripe the yellow and black so it makes like a little caution it's pretty hard i don't know little details so it comes in every color ever i mean maybe you only use black but regardless i always order it off amazon it comes quick it's a good price bam you know what i mean it's just convenience like oh shit like i usually do it like a sunday night it's like oh we're running out of gaff tape boop Right on my phone, boop, 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 takes me two seconds, order it, it's there by Monday or Tuesday, and I'm good for the next weekend. This is something, I actually bought another one last week because it was on sale with the Amazon Prime Day. They still have a sale going on now, it's like $100 off, but the Jackery battery, I should do a whole video on this, I actually thought about it 10,000 times. This is the greatest thing ever, you might have heard of it, a lot of DJs are using it now. Uh, this is the 1000. I have a 500 and a 1000. They come in different sizes. I think they make a 300, but that's a bitch one. You don't want the 300. That shit will die in two seconds. You want the 500 at least. You know, 1000 is legit. 1000 has three plugs in it, everything else. Essentially, it's a battery. You charge it at your crib, or if you're cheap, you want to charge it at the venue, use their electricity, you can, but it takes a few hours, right? And you can power anything off of it, you know, uh, generally speaking. The 500 is great for like ceremonies, cocktail hours. The 1000 will power your setup. It's a 110 volt. So like, you know, a sub and tops and everything, it'll power your setup. And now it gives me freedom. Anywhere I want to go, I'm good to go, you know. Um, sometimes I use it for ceremony so I can set up wherever the hell I want. You know, maybe the plug is in a stupid spot. I don't want to be there. Like I want to set up on somewhere in the cut or behind the trees or wherever. You can set up wherever you want for ceremony and cocktail hour because you have a bat, you have your own power. You know what I mean? So that freedom is ridiculous. Love that. I was just on the beach with it and I sat up, uh, I set up behind a dune, you know, and I was good to go. Didn't have to worry about nothing. Had my own power, no running wires, no like loud generator like we used to use back in the day. I remember like cranking a gen. I'll never forget being on the beach multiple times in my career, like through the 2000s and the early 20s. 2010s I had that you know the, the little Honda generators and you're like cranking it praying that it starts Whoa. 
Whoa. Please, God, start. Because if it doesn't start, I'm so fucked. Please. Whoa. Whoa. By like the 10th crank, it's flooded. You're giving it a minute. You're stressing out. The ceremony's going to start in 30 minutes. It still won't start. And it always started last minute, though. I don't know why. I always got lucky. I feel like the DJ gods came down and was like, listen, here you go. And then it would just start on the ninth pool. <laughs> and I'd be good. And I would just keep it filled with gas. And that was another thing. Generators suck. We all know this. This is a great replacement for that. And I bought them off of Amazon. You know, uh, they, you know, they, they, they always have deals on Amazon with them. You know, coupons and everything else. And, you know, and they ship quick. And I literally got my thousand uh, last week. It shipped in a day. And um, couldn't be happier with it. So don't leave home without it. Highly recommend. Um, USB cables. And cables in general. There's a lot of good cables on there. But my favorite USB cables are the Chroma cables. They're made by DJ Tech Tools. You can order direct from their website or Amazon. It doesn't matter. They sell on Amazon. They actually just came out with R all DJ Tech Tool cables are great, by the way. So if you're looking for like RCAs and, you know, uh, USBs and, you know, like a real solid replacement for all this stuff, like check out their cables. They're, they're utilized. They're made for DJs. Uh, they have great connectors on them. I've never had one die on me, knock on wood. Never had a problem with any of them. And I've been using the Chroma cable since like Mojax came out with a Chroma cable video. He's the one that showed, uh, like I saw his video and that's how I discovered it. I think it was, it was back in the day. It was like 2018, 2019. It was a while back. And I've been using them ever since. I've never had a problem. Like they are the best cables. Um, they're cheap. I think they're 12 bucks or something like that. 15 bucks a piece. They're right on Amazon. They ship right away. You can't beat it. So definitely highly recommend these cables and DJ Tech Tools cables in general. Like I just got their new RCAs, so fire. Like they look sick. The really high quality connectors and all that, like legit, definitely legit. Listerine strips is another thing. It sounds stupid, but like I buy them in bulk on Amazon. They're cheap. And, you know, I'm just not a believer in gum. I think chewing gum is kind of like tacky, especially, you know, in a professional environment like a wedding. Listerine strips, you just toss on your tongue. You're good to go. You don't got to worry about that stank ass breath. All right. So, you know, we all got it. So make sure, don't forget, before you go line up the bridal party, before you go talk to people, toss a strip in. Or I don't know if you're old school, the, the Banaka. Or whatever. I don't know. Maybe you can get that on Amazon. But I'm just a strip guy. I love it. I keep these strips everywhere. I got them in my bags. I got it in my like my drawer, my 16 space rack. I got them uh, in my car in the center console. Like I have them everywhere. So because uh, it's my word. I never want to have like some stank ass breath. You know, when you're talking to people. Very, very important. Um, the fan of all fans is on Amazon. Okay, the fan of all fans. This thing is legit. It comes in different sizes. Lasco makes them. I'm a big fan of Lasco fans. You can see right there, it has an outlet on the side. So like, you know, you can have set up the fan, plug it in, aim it at your balls so you stay cool, right? But then you can also plug your monitor right into the fan. Nice and easy. It's got a little outlet there. Love these fans. I have like three of them. You know, I'll give one to Santi, one to me, one just for general airflow. I literally saved my parties before. Like if you had like really in the dead of summer, I'll probably do a whole thing on this like next year, but in the dead of summer, right? it's really hot and you know it's so hot so humid it's like an outdoor wedding or event or whatever and you know it's so humid it's like man how are these people going to dance i would literally set up one one of these fans two like one on each of my subs and point it directly at the crowd the the crowd will literally see the fans feel it and then while they're dancing in between they'll go to the fans and like cool off and it'll literally save your party like it literally like like it's just like a little a little couple seconds of relief for the people dancing out there, you know, and, and they little they little in rotation will come, you know, enjoy a little bit of the fan and then like walk away and then they get hot again and they come back, you know, and you, all, you also keep air circulating around the dance floor, you know, like these things having multiple of them like there's so many purposes if you do snow. If you do like the snow effect, right? The snowy first dance or whatever, these fans are super directional and super powerful. So if you have like a long distance from like where your snow thing is to the dance floor, you can set it up underneath the truss where you have your snowy thing in and then you shoot the snow. You can do direct air right up on the ceiling and then it'll project the snow up over top on the dance floor. It works like a charm. You know, there's so many little ways. So I highly recommend these fans. I mean, I know it's cold now, but you know. Maybe get them on sale now because it's cold, you know? Buy them for next summer. It's going to get hot again, right? So love, love, love them right on Amazon. Link in description. And then finally is like my trailer hitch and all my trailer accessories I get on Amazon. Um, you know, they have great trailer accessories. They're, they're priced right. And then I can find the stuff I need too. Like I don't really know of a good trailer website. 
I just kind of go on Amazon and I find it. Like I like this is the hitch I use. It's got a six inch dip, which by the way, if, if you guys pull a trailer and you're pulling it and your trailer like looks like this while you're pulling it, like first of all, you look stupid. Second of all, you're, you're fucking up the axle and everything like in your trailer. Like it's not good for the trailer just to be on an angle like that. You know, third of all, like your equipment is all like lopsided. Like, it's all bad. You want to have an even trailer. Like you want your trailer to be even with whatever you're pulling it with. And sometimes you need to have a hitch with a serious dip. And I found one, I thought they only made it with a four inch dip, but I just, cause, but then I bought a Jeep and the Jeep is like higher up, you know, cause it's a Jeep or whatever. And I found this one on Amazon. This has a six inch dip, which is exactly what I need to keep everything nice and level. And it works perfect. So I highly recommend like this hitch in particular, I have a link in the description, but like all trailer accessories, locks, stuff like that. Uh, my trailer locks like for the back and, and for the hitch itself and all that. I buy all that off Amazon. I think it's just easy. It ships quick, free shipping, all that. If you got Amazon prime, so that's all the stuff I get on Amazon. Thought it might be useful. You know, a lot of that stuff I never thought to get, you know, until I Googled it, you know, and it's easy. And, and especially the repeat stuff like gaff tape and all that, you can just hop right on the app and reorder it. You never have to run out. It's a bad day when you run out of gaff tape. It's terrible. It's like, what do you do now? especially in certain situations, you know, you want to tape your, what do you, you, you run out of gaff tape and then you have the loosiest, most goosiest outlet ever. And your, your plugs literally hanging out. What do you do? <laughs> you, you hire someone just to sit there and hold the plug. Like, you know, you're in trouble. You know, you'd never want to run out of things like gaff tape and Listerine strips, all that. So I just always keep stock by ordering it right on the app and it's nice and easy. <laughs>